Hi, this is Seth Ness CS here. This is a demonstration of the non-evaporative swamp cooler. At least I believe what that's what the system is called. You don't see a lot of this on the internet. I guess there's a conspiracy behind it. But anyway, I'm not going to get into that. What I'm going to show you is what I built here, which consists of a 12-volt fan bought from Walmart, a copper coil from the hardware store, vinyl tubing, zip ties, a 12-volt plug, some electrical skill, I connected those in line to the, the pump in line to the fan. And ice, water, fountain pump, some tubing down in here, which is a which is the transfer the heat. So I'm gonna turn this on for the first time. I got the tubing. I'm gonna fill the the lines up first so I could show you what this does. And got the jump starter here to power it. Here we go. So you can see the water flowing through the lines, which is just what we're looking for. Wow, it's already cold. Now I could leave the system just like this so it'll still have the same effect, but what you want to do is you want to have it in a closed loop so you have the water recirculating on its own as opposed to just like that way you don't like if you have like drinks and stuff in here you don't cross contaminate. Anyway, I'm going to switch on the fan. Already I could feel cool air. It's not, it's quite cold, it's not air conditioned air. There's only 144 BTUs in a pound of ice. Or should I say, yeah, a pound of ice has 144 BTUs. So I did the math. So a pound of water is eight gallons. A five gallon bucket holds five gallons. You're looking at about 5,400 BTUs. So you take 8 times 5, 8 pounds times 5 gallons equals 40, and you take 144 times 40, and you get somewhere around 5,440 BTUs in that 5 gallon solid block of ice. And as far as I know, Air conditioners are rated by their BTUs within an hour. So a 5,000 BTU air conditioner transfers 5,000 BTUs of heat in an hour. So in order to get the same effect from this setup as you can from air conditioning, one would need to have a 5-gallon bucket of ice so 40 pounds of ice every hour to get the same amount of cooling uh, heat transfer as air conditioning. Because what's happening is, is this coils are, you're not making, you're not making cold, it's transferring heat. So the heat from the room is going to, is being transferred into this, into this ice chest. That's the way to think about it. Overall, I really like this system. So for those who don't have car in-car AC, this is a good alternative. Just remember to have ice. Just remember to load it up with ice before you go out on errands. It will work in any humidity. It will work in Florida, Arizona. Because it's not like an evaporative cooler where you're evaporating. What you're doing is you're, if anything, you're dehumidifying much like an air conditioner does. Because you feel all, all this condensate up. The condensate's already starting to run down on this. So anyway, I believe this contraption is called a non-evaporative swamp cooler. And anyway, this is Seth Macias. Bye.